Hello guys, welcome to another video in the Team Nietzsche channel and in today's video we will take a look at the .pwn tool. So .pwn is a web fuzzing tool written in Perl. Uh, it enables to identify directory to false of vulnerabilities and it is a very easy tool to use. So first let's take a look at the installation of the of this tool and if you are using Linux or any penetration distribution then you probably have it already installed uh, and you can make sure uh, by just if you open up your terminal just type in which dot dot pwn if you have it if you have it installed then it will show you the path in which uh, it is installed if not then it, the output uh, it's not gonna output anything and to install it you just need to type in sudo apt install dot dot pwn and hit enter just enter up your password and for me it just said that i have it already installed okay all right so actually it it's it, it you can also install it if you are using linux um i have enabled the windows subsystem for linux that allows me to install a kali linux terminal on my on my windows so i can run kali linux commands all right so enough me talking about it and let's actually use it so first let's open up the help for the dot dot pwn and that's basically what you would do every time you install a new tool so just open up the help to see what are the options that are available to us with this uh, tool so dot dot pwn dash dash help i hit enter as you can see there isn't that much options that you can use first we need to specify the module if you are, uh, for example, you are fuzzing a surface that's using FTP or TFTP, if you are using HTTP, then you need to use HTTP URL and you need to specify the host name. Those are uh, options should be always uh, in the command. Then you specify the uh, dash uppercase O to uh, detect the backend which, uh, which uh, the operating system, the for example, the website is using in the backend and it's using inmap to do that. So you need to have also inmap installed. Okay, if you knew the operating system, you can specify it using the dash lowercase o and the dash uh, lowercase s used for banner grabbing. You can specify also the depth of the fuzzing using the dash lowercase d. Uh, the default is 6, which should be good for... Uh, for most of the times, for, for example, if you have run this tool using the default six and uh, there is no uh, vulnerable URLs, it didn't find anyone, then probably increasing this, the depth value can be an ideal solution. You can specify the file that you are fuzzing for with the dash lowercase f. For example, if you are fuzzing for the Etsy password, you can specify it with the dash f. If you didn't specify it, it's gonna, it's gonna, uh, choose one depending on the uh, operating system in the backend. If, for example, you want to add uh, another extra files to first four, you can use the dash uppercase E. Uh, if you want to use SSL for HTTP, then you use you specify that with the dash uppercase S. Uh, you specify the URL of the target using the dash lowercase U, and then you mark the part that you want to uh, the the part in which you want the uh, the the dot dot pwn tool to uh, append the file in the URL with the keyword traversal. You specify, and then if you want to use the dash u, then you this dash key is actually imp is uh, important to specify the dash lowercase key to specify which pattern the dot dot pwn will look for uh, in the response that's coming back from the server, so it knows which uh, response succeeded and which didn't. Okay, uh, the dash x, the dash lowercase x is uh, also useful if uh, the service that you, if the service for example is using a non-default port then you can specify that using the dash lowercase uh, x uh, and uh, the dash lowercase t is used to specify the number of milliseconds between each request. Uh, the default is 300 milliseconds. Uh, the dash uh, e, uh, lo lowercase e is used to specify the uh, extension that needs uh, to add it to the end of the URL if the for example the uh, the backend server server is uh, uh, implementing a 
the backend server is implementing it, it's verifying that the URL, for example, needs to have an extension, then you can use that dash e to append, for example, that PHP, that JPEG, or any extension. And the dash uppercase M is used to specify the uh, the the method, the HTTP method that is used when sending the request. We have the dash r to specify the name of the file that the report will be, the output. So the output of the of this tool will be saved in a file with this name. The default name is the host and the day and then the minutes and the file saved with the extension of that txt. We have the dash lowercase b is used so that the tool will break as soon as it finds the first uh, vulnerable URL and not uh, continue uh, trying other URLs. We have the dash Q quiet mode. It's uh, used if you don't want it to print. It will only output the succeeded URLs. Okay, so let's use this tool. So for this demonstration, I'm using this URL from the this site from the hack the box. So uh, if you see, we need we have that the, the uh, language parameter in the URL is vulnerable to uh, uh, to directory traversal attacks. So let me just so the command would be dot dot pwn, and we need to specify the method, which are in our case would be http dash url we need to specify the host which is the ip address with the port okay so let me just paste that and then you specify the url which me just take all of this copy and then we paste here and then we delete the language url and we mark it as traversal Right, so what we can also use, we dash f, you probably you want to be more specific about the file that you want to fuss for, because if you don't, then it's going to try a lot of files by default, and that would be, would end up uh, sending a lot of requests to the server. So you always want to uh, be more specific, so you can increment the number of requests that you are sending to the server. So we will be fussing for the etsy password file, and let me see if there is other options yeah we need to specify the dash key and we know that this uh, file contains the root users so that would be uh, a very good match to search for in the response of uh, the request um, okay we are using the default port so no we don't need to specify it and we're not going to be adding any extension so yeah let me just yeah, let's send this one and see what happens. So hit enter and then hit enter to start. And as you can see now it starts and uh, you see it, it actually found someone that are vulnerable. So if you want to stop it, uh, you just hit control C and now let me copy this one, this URL and let me try it in the browser. So if we navigate to this URL, as you can see, we have returned the content of the uh, uh, pass, uh, it's the password file. As you can see, it's a very easy tool to use. You just need to, okay, just need to specify uh, the module and the host. Those are always need to be in the command, and then you specify the URL and you mark the part with the, in which this uh, uh, this file will be appended uh, with the keyword traversal. And uh, when you're doing this method, then you must have a dash key, a pattern to look for in the uh, request in the response that's returned by the server. All right, that was uh, so. That is how you would use uh, that, that pwn to retrieve the content of the file on the server, like the configuration files. I hope you enjoyed the video and use your code for good and have a good day.